and all the people say What's up guys, my name is Alex Melendez. Some of you may know me as Alex, but today you can call me Coach Melendez. So as you guys know, or some of you know, soccer is my passion. So for my service project, I decided to come back to my school and help out a little bit. I'll just come to the games and give them some motivation. I've been here a few times and now I'm gonna interview some players and see what they thought of everything. <laughs> all right, all right. Do you know who Alex is? Yeah, not on like a Big time personal level, but a little bit, yeah. I've known Alex for a little while now. Well, yeah, of course I know who Alex is. He's like, I guess I consider him as a rival. It's just like a simple, like a better way for me to get better. You know, really, Alex is probably the best soccer player to ever go here. And when he was here, he had 3A state player of the year, something like that. You know, he's real good. And, you know, he went away to school, went to play in college, and he comes back, coaches us up, teaches us a little more things than our coach could. But, you know, Alex, he could be the head coach here if he needed to. Have you learned anything from Alex? If so, what is it? And do you use it on the field or do you plan to use it? A little bit of footwork stuff mostly. That's probably what he's good at. Just controlling the ball with your feet better. I plan to use it. He's taught me a good bit, uh, especially footwork and how to do um, some actually really precise cutbacks. He taught me how to shoot really well and dribble, mainly shooting. His junior year, he scored 37 goals. And this really taught me how to shoot really well. I've learned a lot from Alex, to be honest. Like, I've like he's taught me so much ball control, how to shoot, and every time he's come, he comes to the game, like every mistake that I make, he just like helps me improve it. Do you feel more motivated to play when Alex is around? <laughs> I think that is enough. Yeah, because he's so good, and I feel like he's always judging me if I do bad. I'm always like, oh, he's gonna think that's bad. So, yeah. <laughs> Facts. But yeah, of course. Like if, just like the other guy said. If I do something bad, it makes me feel like he's gonna judge me or something. I just try my best just so he can like kind of be impressed. Does Alex impact the way you play in games while he coaches from the sideline or tries to? Yeah, because you come out, take a little break, coach will say nothing to you, but oh, you look a little tired out there. And he'll tell you like, hey, you were doing good. And coming from him, that makes you, it reassures you that you know, you're doing something right. Every time I come over to the sideline, it does a good job. I know I'm doing a good job. On a scale of one to ten, how do you feel that you've improved with Alex's help? <laughs> oh, no. This guy's a joke. Yeah, he's kind of shy around camera, so. Yeah. What he meant to say is a, a ten. Probably a ten, because my freshman year was my first year playing soccer, and he taught me everything. Dang, that, you know, that, that hits me right in the heart. On this side, or in the middle. I don't know where it is. <laughs> Somewhere there. Hey, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. Honestly, a 10, because when I first came here, I was pretty, uh, pretty booty. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, nah, I've been improved so much with this so, help. Like, my shots have been getting so better, ball control and everything. What is Alex to you? What do you view him as? I mean, he's like a mentor and coach to me, but he's also a friend on a personal level. Um, like a mentor, like a coach. Well, really, when I first met him, he was just, you know, oh, that's the best player here, you know. He might not like some of our worst players, which was me at the time. And, you know, then I got to know him and learn some stuff from him. And he's a pretty cool dude to know, you know. He's, he's much more than just a soccer player or a coach, as you call him. He's a really good guy, one that I'd like to know. I view Alex like almost like a rival. I didn't, I didn't really get to, like, play with him his senior year because his ACL tour, but it would have been, like, amazing if I would have played with him to see what me and him could do on top. And I see him as a, like I really see him as a rival because if I see him as if I see him as a rival, it, helps, it, it, just, it just helps me improve and helps me better myself so I can be on his level. I'm here with the head coach of the soccer team, Coach Smith. My first question for you is, what are your views of someone like me coming to help the team and encourage them during games? It means so much. Like last night you at the game and your voice means more to them than my voice a lot of times. Even though I'm older and I've coached for a long time, and I, but you being as good as you are at soccer and they just listen to you as, as a peer. Um, I've always thought this in, in education, teaching, coaching, and I think that 
you have that peer communication from people your age or close to your age that kids really listen to that a lot of times a lot more than they do adults and coaches and teachers and stuff like that so your presence here is just you know it's, it's awesome when you're whenever you're around the program or anything so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we have Jake Rutledge. Can you say that one more time? Jake Rutledge. All right, and for those of you in the back who didn't hear, Jake Rutledge. All right, now you know who he is. On his first day he, with the whole team, everyone was just so comfortable. And we just... <clears throat> All right, and Anthony's going to be holding the mic because I'm actually kind of tired. Here you All go. right. Thank you. <laughs> He can't, he can't get it together, guys. Like, he doesn't even have the jersey on. Alex, Alex just really inspires me to be, uh, you know, like, I guess, prepared for everything. Like, like, always be ready. He didn't even ask a question. I'm not doing my job, guys. They don't pay me enough for this. <laughs> so how, how do you view Alex? What is he to you? I view Alex as, like, a mentor. <laughs> do, do you even know who Alex is? Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. Alex, great guy. I met him my freshman year. Uh, so. <laughs> great guy. Great. That's that's good enough. Who? Check check. All right. I feel. I view. I'll... <laughs>